electric charge, and field. Electricity is any phenomenon associated with stationary or moving electrons, ions, or other charged particles. In other words, an electric charge could be stationary or in motion. Recall that the movement of electric charge is called electric current, while stationary electric charge is called static electricity. Stationary electric charge or static electricity can be generated through friction. It can simply be achieved by rubbing one material like glass rod or PVC with another material like foil or silk. As a result of this action, these materials tend to either attract or repel each other. When we know that light charges repel and opposite charge attract, we can simply test that light charges repel and the light charges attract each other by carrying out a simple experiment. First, we take a glass rod and rub it with a piece of silk and hang it from the middle with a thread or a string so that it's free to move. If you then bring another glass rod, which you have also charged in the same way next to it, you will see that the rod on the string turns away from the rod in your hand, that is, it repels. If however you take a plastic rod and you rub it with a piece of foil and then bring it close to the glass rod on the string, you will see that the glass rod on the string turns towards the rod in your hand, that is, it is attracted. In summary, we will say rubbing a glass rod with silk brings about a tiny amount of the negative charge being transferred from the glass onto the silk, which causes the glass to have less negative charge than positive charge, hence making it positively charged. So we just say GSP, which is glass rod with silk, gives positive. How about rubbing a plastic rod with foil? You see, tiny amount of the negative charge is transferred into the rod, and so it has more negative charge than positive charge on it hence making it negatively charged. So we'd say plastic on 4 is negative, that is P, and F is N. So we can see that friction produces negative or positive charge on different materials, which can cause a charged material to attract or simply repel another material, thereby proving that light charges repel while opposite charge attract charging and discharging objects. Electroscope. The electroscope is a very sensitive instrument which can be used to detect electric charge. That's to check whether an object is charged or not. The electroscope consists of a glass rod container with a metal rod inside which has two thin pieces of gold foil attached. The other end of the metal rod has a metal plate or a ball attached to it outside the glass container. A body can be charged by conduction and secondly by induction charging by conduction. When a negatively charged body touches a neutral body, the body becomes negatively charged. This is because electrons have moved to that neutral body. When a positively charged body touches a neutral body, the body becomes positive. Why? Because electrons will be moved from the neutral body to the positive body, thus making the neutral body positive. When an insulated material is charged by contact, the charge stays on the insulator at the point where it is touched. But when a conducting material is charged by contact or by conduction, the charge spread out over the whole surface of the conductor. Charging by induction. Induction is the movement of electrons within a substance caused by a nearby charged object without direct contact. When a negatively charged body is brought near a neutral electroscope, electrons therein are repelled. But when a positively charged body is brought near a neutral electroscope, the electrons therein are attracted. When the neutral electroscope is grounded, you provide a path for the electrons to go towards the positively charged body. And when the charged body and the ground is removed, the electroscope is about to be negatively charged because it has gained electrons and concentrated at the top. Here's a simple experiment you could try. When you bring the negatively charged balloon near a neutral wall, the electrons on the balloon repel the negative charge on the wall, making that part of the wall positive. The balloon is said to induce a charge on the wall because it has charged the wall without contacting it. Also, if you rub a balloon on your hair, the electrons will transfer from your hair to the balloon, thus making the balloon negatively charged. You can also try out this, cleaning a disposable cup with a towel and bringing it close to a running tap. Electrical discharge. Electrical discharge is a process whereby built up electric charge are transferred very quickly due to induction. Once a body is charged, the charge are trapped on it until they are given a path to escape. Example of this effect is lightning and electrical spark. Lightning formation. You see, clouds are made up of evaporated water particles that are beginning to condense again. Heavy water particles remain in the lower area of the cloud and newly evaporated particles rise to the top. As particles rise and push to the top, they collide with denser water molecules at the bottom, 
cost me electrons to get knocked off and accumulated at the bottom of the cloud. That is, the air becomes ionized. The top of the Earth's surface holds a stronger positive charge than the clouds, and the bottom half of the cloud holds a negative charge. The temporary positive area on the ground is created by induction. When enough charge is built up in this process, a path of charged particles is formed between the cloud and the Earth. You would see visible path formed between the cloud and the Earth. The cloud that discharges excess electrons along the temporary path to the ground, thus creating a huge spark. You will see that a flash returns stroke going upward. That's as the positive charge rates towards the negative in the clouds. And that is your lightning. As a result of all this, this charge then creates a rapid expansion in the air around it, thus causing the sound thunder. So you can see that light information isn't formed by tall as they make you believe in the movies. Lightning warning. If you can hear thunder, then you're within a striking distance of the lightning. This is because lightning can strike 15 kilometers from where it is raining with its temperature reaching about 30,000 degrees Celsius. It's very important that you avoid taking shelters on the trees to prevent lightning strikes. Stay in large buildings or vehicles whose windows are rolled up. You should also avoid touching conductors like car metal parts, bicycles, mowers, golf clubs, even kites. You should also avoid standing or playing in an open field or space where you're the highest point within that space. You take off every metallic accessories like necklace and wrist chains you might be wearing. Question time. Two charged metal spheres hang from strings and are free to move as shown in the picture. The right hand sphere is positively charged. The charge on the left hand sphere is unknown. The left sphere is now brought close to the right sphere. Now, from your observation, if the left hand sphere swings towards the right hand sphere, what can you say about the charge on the left hand sphere? And why? Secondly, if the left hand sphere swings away from the right hand sphere, what can you say about the left sphere and why? Question 2. I have two charged metal conducting spheres. Sphere A has a charge of negative 10 microcoulombs, and sphere B has a charge of negative 6 microcoulombs. I then bring the spheres together so that they touch each other. After I move the two spheres apart so that they are no longer touching. A. What happens to the charge on the two spheres? B. What is the final charge on each sphere? 